day two. Different day, different shirt. You can see I've worn a black bearded butcher shirt in the videos, like the last 30 videos. We got some new styles. A little bit different front. America's Butchers on the back. If you want one, they're on the website, www.beardedbutchers.com. All right, so pigs. We're going to fabricate out all the different styles of ribs that you can get off of a pig. On Tuesday, we did beef. We butchered these hogs yesterday. We're processing them today. So let's just go through it. The styles of, of ribs that I'm going to be cutting are going to require both sides of the pig. Um, we're going to do a couple different styles. So follow along. We'll get these broke down and I'll show you. Maybe in some of our other videos, you've seen us break some of these different styles of ribs out, but we weren't necessarily, you know, pinpointing on this specific topic. So that's what this video is all about. So the first thing I need to do is break this shoulder off, typically between the fourth and fifth rib. Set that over here for now. Now I want to separate this belly and this rib section from this loin. So I'll just separate it like that. Set the belly over and the loin. Same thing with the second side. Try saying that 10 times real fast. A little tongue twister. Remove that shoulder. Let's remove that belly. All right, now that we have those bellies separated from these loins, we'll just get them broke down and I'll show you where all the different types of ribs come from. So first we're gonna do a, a, a pork spare rib. We just start by scoring that meat right there at the end of that rib. You can leave as much meat on these as you want. Just remember, the more meat you leave on the rib, you are sacrificing that belly. So, just gonna leave a nice, you know, little quarter of an inch of meat or so on the back of these. Because if we take too much off of that belly, that just means that it's gonna be less bacon we get to eat. So this rib right here would be considered a full rack of spare rib. So you can see it has these bones left on the bottom. There's real soft cartilage right here. Um, they kind of run at an angle like this down through that rib. So I'm going to demo just a full spare rib first, and then I'll show you a St. Louis style. So I want to start by removing this membrane. So I always score the bottom of it right here with your knife. And then I just take my meat hook get that membrane started meat hook works wonders for this get that membrane started and then just pull it off like that so we we take the membrane off our pork ribs we leave it on for the beef ribs um, membrane left on the beef ribs just kind of helps keep them together as they smoke they smoke for so long, we don't want those to fall apart. But on the pork ribs, we don't want to leave those on there because it can leave a little bit of an odd feel um, just to try to bite through it. So that's uh, rib number one. That's just your traditional style spare rib. Um, you can go down through here and you can notch these where that soft cartilage is if you like. That way when, after you smoke them, you, you can just cut down through there. I think I'll just leave them whole. Uh, just like you see them there. On to the next side. Same thing, different side. Let's just extract these ribs out of here. So 
Something I'm going to do just a little bit different with these, which makes them a St. Louis style. There's people that swear by the full ribs, having those that extra meat on the bottom, which it is delicious. Um, and then other folks, they like those St. Louis style just because there's less to deal with on them. So start with scoring that membrane, as you saw previously. Get that meat hook. Get that membrane started. One. Pulls right off there. So once we get that membrane removed, we will now take our eight inch, all the other work I've been doing is just with my six inch uh, Victorinox boning knife. So now I'm gonna move to the eight inch breaking knife. Just a little bit easier getting that force down through here, but right down through here, you can take this knife and you can cut through this soft cartilage just like that. So you can see that knife passed right through that cartilage. Now, if I tried to cut up here a little bit further, I'd be on that bone and I simply wouldn't be able to cut through it with my, with my knife. But since I found that soft cartilage right there, I was able just to pass right down through there um, very easily. So now what you can see is I have a full rack of pork spare ribs it has those those little bones left on the bottom and then i have a st louis style which those bones have now been removed so that's the difference between a full rack of pork spare ribs and st louis style hopefully you learned something today with those two moving on we're going to pull the baby back ribs and the country style ribs out of these loins. First, we're gonna start by removing all this fat off the back of these loins. I'm going to show you a couple different ways we can get these ribs out of here. We're going to do a full rack of baby back ribs, and then we're going to cut some country style ribs and do a shorter rack of baby back ribs off of this loin. So you can save country style ribs off of both loins. However, when you do that, it takes four bones to cut a country style rib and you're gonna shorten those baby back ribs up. And I'll show you what happens um, during that process right here. But let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna pull the full rack of baby backs first. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna remove this inner loin, this tender loin. So we'll remove that. We're gonna pop the sirloin off of here. So get rid of that sirloin. Now what we'll do is we'll start up here at the end of the loin that's closest to the shoulder. And we're just gonna start removing these ribs out of here. Here again, you can leave as much meat as you want on these. Just remember, the more meat you leave on them, the less you leave on your pork loin for, for your pork chops. So it's completely up to you how much meat you want to leave on those. Once we've got that whole loin pulled out, set it to the side. So what this is going to be, is this is going to be a full rack of pork baby back style ribs. So if you imagine a, you know, a bone-in pork loin, those ribs on a bone-in pork chop are the ones that make up the baby back style ribs. So now what I need to do is I need to move over to my bandsaw. This portion needs done with a saw. I mean, I'm, I assume you could probably use a hand saw if you'd like. 
So you remove the bottom of the vertebrae there. Same thing on this side. So what you want is you want, to, you want, once these are smoked, you want to be able to take your knife and pass down through each rib. If I'd have left this on there, you simply wouldn't have been able to cut through this with your knife. So that's why we take that part off. That way you can just pass right through each rib. So once I do that, I can take my meat hook, same thing here, get under that membrane and just take it off in one nice hole like that. On to loin two. So this one, I'll show you how we cut a country style rib. First, I want to square that loin up a little bit. Now I'm going to count over four ribs. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and cut that off. Remove that vertebrae. This is the chunk of the, of the loin closest to that shoulder that I'm gonna make some country style ribs out of. The remaining portion, we'll do baby backs. It's just gonna be a smaller, a smaller section of baby back ribs. So to cut the country style, I wanna take these bones off the back, take my hook, remove the membrane, little piece of that blade bone in there I want to take out. Trim them up a little bit. So with this, what I want to do is I want to just take my, my eight inch breaking knife, cut down through these ribs, just like this. I like to uh, square them up a little bit. So you can do these a couple different ways. Typically in our store, we sell them like this right here. So you can see I'm cutting down in between each of these bones. And what that does is that gives you a really nice meaty piece of rib with that little chunk of that loin on there. These are really incredible. Uh, they make great if you want to, I mean, you can barbecue them, you can put them in your crock pot, you can do sauerkraut you know, New Year's, things like that. These are a pretty hot ticket item throughout all throughout the Midwest. So that's a pork country style rib. Uh, and you can see those have the bones in them. You can also do a boneless version. So if I was to do a boneless version, I would just cut these a little bit harder to hold in place since that bone's not in there. So you can see here, those are, uh, boneless short rib version. So these have no bones in them. So just one side has the bone and one side doesn't. On to that second loin. This one's going to be a shorter version of a baby back and it'll make sense to you why it's the short version as we go along here since I removed those country style ribs. So just like the first loin, pull that tenderloin out, pop that sirloin off, extract these ribs out. Making nice long cuts, not putting a bunch of hack marks in the loin. If anything shows that you're a rookie, that you're a rookie butcher, is if you get a chunk of meat like this and there's a bunch of just <laughs> hack marks in it, that screams, I'm a rookie butcher. So you certainly want to keep things nice and smooth, no hack marks. So once we get that pulled out, same thing, just removing a little bit of that meat on there. We don't want to waste anything. Let's move over to the bandsaw. You can see I'm not cutting these ribs off flat. I'm actually tipping them up, keeping them at a little bit of an angle. Because what that does is that helps keep some of that meat on the bottom of those ribs. 
in this business, it's all about learning seams, muscle memory, learning angles. You can take a particular cut of beef or pork and cut it at the wrong angle and wind up with a cut that looks nothing like what it's supposed to be. So just keep that in mind. Quick overview on the pork. Full pork spare rib, St. Louis style. Just remember, those are the same ribs, just trimmed up a little bit different. My baby backs, I want my baby back. This is a full version. This is a short one. And you can see it's because, if you look right here, I took the last four ribs off of there for those country style ribs. So hopefully that clears things up for you. So spare rib St. Louis, baby back, country style, bone in and boneless. Cool thing about this is you got to see where they come from on the animal, how we fabricate them out of the animal, what all the different names are on beef and pork. This is all things ribs. People get so confused with this. But the cool thing is, is that not only are we gonna show you where they come from and how to cut them, we're taking them to the grill. So we're gonna light the grills. We're going to use uh, the Traeger. We're gonna use the birch barrel. We're gonna do some long and slow smoking. We're gonna do some quick and fast searing like with the, the flanken style. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna make a day out of it. We're gonna get some seasonings, uh, different, different flavors of our beer butcher blend seasonings. We're gonna season them up different ways. Um, we're just gonna hang out, grill some food, smoke some food. So stay tuned for that. The grilling portion is headed your way next.